when you're doing a whistle count, you want to make sure, obviously, that you step out of your vehicle, kill the motor, and step away from the vehicle 15 to 20 feet or so because you don't want to have to compete with the, with the noise from your engine cooling down. So step away from it about 25 feet or so and then begin your count. Start. data sheet you use is, looks like a bullseye target. You're standing right here at the 10 ring and you've got three rings. 200 yards, 400 yards, 600 yards. Every time that rooster whistles you mark an X. So here's one that I heard. I estimated him to be out there about 300, 350 yards up here at about 130. If I hear a bird whistle down here at 5 o'clock, that's way out there, about 500 yards, I mark that X right there. The ability to mark where those birds are calling at will help you keep track and you don't double count that rooster if he calls again here in a couple of minutes. Typically those roosters are going to call on a good morning about every 15 seconds. Stop. The materials you need for this exercise are really at your fingertips. All you need is a writing instrument, pencil, a clipboard, data sheets which you can download from our website. We'll give you the link for that in just a second and then a stopwatch, and that's all it takes. This is a really useful exercise. It's an inventory of your breeding capital, and any business person knows that an inventory is important. We're gonna do this in May or June to where we have an understanding of how many birds we've got calling, and hopefully that'll be an indicator of how many birds we can expect this fall. I made you hear. I heard seven birds and 52 calls. I heard five birds and 44 calls. You just got better ears than what I got. A couple of important things you want to think about. Most of us that are middle-aged have not taken good care of our hearing. I hear quite well in my right ear, but I don't hear very well in my left ear because when I hold my shotgun, my right ear is protected, my left ear is not. So you'll notice that I rotate about every 20 seconds. I rotate 90 degrees. That puts my good ear to where I can hear at different places around the circle that way. But it's always a good idea to bring along a younger set of ears. Here at the research ranch, we have summer interns. This is Mariah. Uh, Mariah is a sophomore at Texas A&M University. And those younger ears will typically increase our whistle counts about 20 to 30 percent. So just the ability to hear obviously is good. And if your hearing is worse, much worse than mine, again, you're really going to want to rely upon some younger ears or the whistle counts are just not going to be very meaningful to you. When a quail is really motivated, he'll be whistling about every 15 seconds. Now a good whistle count will be something in the neighborhood of six birds or more and over a hundred whistles during that five minute period. The best I've ever counted is 153 whistles in a five minute period. I like to think of my counts in multiples of three. If I hear three birds or less, that tells me I'm not in that great a spot. Four to six birds is average. Six to nine birds above average. Anything above nine, really good. Now anytime you're talking about hearing more than 10 birds, it's kind of like mass confusion, but that's a great problem to have. So be thinking about how many total birds do I hear Hopefully that's going to be in the neighborhood of six to nine birds or more, and then how many total whistles. I have a whistle every two to three seconds is outstanding. For more information, you can go to the fact sheet, Counting Quail, and it'll give you more information about the protocol, the data sheets, and the interpretation of these data.